In this video, I'm going to demonstrate one way you can give your characters extra eyes that are still controllable through the Face Puppet Editor and the Face Key Editor. What we've got here, this is Gary's character Martin from his school squad grown-ups range and as you can see I've given him a third eye here and if we use the face puppet preview in cartoon animator here press space you can see the third eye is working the eyeball or iris is moving around and I can even blink it although I'll explain a bit later that that eye is not actually blinking as you would want it to blink uh, this demo is not a completely rigged character for this particular third eye just the very basics are of how you would go about it just to show you and just to maybe give you some ideas if you're trying to do something like this with multiple eyes yourself so we'll get out of this and i'll show you how this has been achieved so what's going on here is that this character doesn't actually have three eyes it still only has two eyes this eye is completely independent and these two eyes are one eye in the same controlled obviously from the left eye and you'll see if I go into base key editor and just move the eyeballs here so I've got them selected and click and drag you can see those two eyes on this side are moving in exactly the same way whereas this other one is moving a little bit slower and that's because uh, this eye is just having to deal with one iris that size whereas these two eyes are all one bright and the iris is actually both of those in that one sprite so it's that's what's creating the sort of difference in speed so if we go in and look at the sprites through here and go to the face you can see the left eye here uh, the normal sprite is actually two eyes exactly as you can see there and you'll notice I have not changed any of the other sprites so when you saw before I was able to make the top eye blink that was happening simply because when the character blinks it switches to this sprite here and the top eye was just disappearing it wasn't actually blinking so if you were going to use this method you would have to change all of these sprites to two eyed sprites the same way as this first one is you could actually put as many eyes as you like attached to this because they're all attached to the same sprite on the same bone they all move as if they're just one sprite and it just happens to look the way it does the one thing to remember though is i'll take this into the composer uh, we need to look at the wireframe for that particular eye close to the face and we'll open up the bone editor making sure we're on the face and show the wireframe and we'll select the left eye you can see in the wireframe the division type for this eye is full whereas if i select the other eye you'll see that it's mask and the reason for that i isolate the selected eye up here you can see how the wireframe is completely up to the edge of that eye if you have a sprite that has a like we do another eye up here and there's a gap between the two images uh, the wireframe will not like it it'll try to either put a wireframe around part of the sprite or it just won't do a wireframe at all but if you select mask type full in this case you see is just again it's that small part of the eye so it doesn't really have much difference here I'll put that back to mask if we go to the other eye like this one and then hide everything else you'll see the mask is full and this is how we get the complete eye to show up on the character's face without any issues of the mask getting confused about which part of that sprite it should be masking around you just set it to full We'll get out of that so that's one very important point you need to remember if you're trying to make additional eyes that work just off the one eye like this the other thing we want to sort of make a note of is over here in the facial animation setup if you have this sort of as part of your character's eyes and see here these particular expressions don't quite work as successfully as you would like for some of them you can see there's all this kind of thing going on I haven't changed any of these these are just the default expressions like deformations that Gary set up for this character you could probably play around with this and make it look a lot better but obviously the more eyes you have 
controlled in this way, uh, the harder it is to make this part of the facial animation setup work. If we go to the other eye over here, the outside of the eye, that one works as you would expect. And you can see if we select the iris on here, uh, you can't even see the iris at the moment because position is being masked out by the eye white. And if we move it around, you'll see certain positions we can see it and certain positions we can't. So you'd have to play around with this if you're going to need this part of your face to work correctly. I think the only other thing I can really show you with this is how I actually did the eye in the file. I could try giving him a second eye from this one. So what I'm going to do is we're going to export the character out. I believe this character originally is a SVG character uh, but I don't have either Adobe Illustrator or Affinity Designer. Uh, I'm using Critter and uh, I make my SVG characters with Inkscape, so this character at the moment has been converted to a PSD character. Uh, but you could do this with SVG characters if you have the appropriate software to export it and keep it as an SVG. There we go, this is in Critter, and all I'm going to do is go to the right eye, down here and look for the right eye, left eye. Here we go, this is the right eye here, and what I'll do is I'll just do the normal eye, but again, if you want this to work completely, you have to do this for every single eye sprite that there is. So, first thing we're going to do is go into the eye white, and I'm going to duplicate that, and the iris, and duplicate that. This is all in the normal folder and then in the mask we've got to turn that on so it's showing and then we're going to duplicate that. Now all of these copies here I'm going to move and we're going to zoom in and I'm going to move it to keep it within his the boundaries of his face otherwise uh, it won't look any good i'm just going to put it on his chin and now all we've got to do is merge these down again into one sprite so copy of iris and iris we want to merge that into one sprite so merge with layer below same with the eye white copy of eye white and eye white we want to merge those layer below and the same with the mask, we want to merge that with the mask, original mask. And the mask we want to turn off so it's hidden again. And that's pretty much all we need to do, I just have to hit save. So we go save, in cartoon animator, that'll be updated. And you'll notice at the moment the eye hasn't shown up. And that's because the wireframe on this eye, as I showed you before, is set to mask and not full. So we need to, with that eye selected, go into the bone editor and do show wireframe. And making sure we've got the right eye selected, which we have, we want to change that to full. And you'll see now the eye has appeared down at the bottom there. Now close this and you'll see if we go into a 360 head creator, just do a preview in here and see now that eye is moving with all the same settings of the original eye. We get out of the composer and select the character and now I do the face puppet preview just to show you that this is all now working. So I'll hit the preview, hit the spacebar, and you can see the other eye is now working. Not 100% sure why that particular eye shut. So I'm not entirely sure why that eye was closing when I was face puppeting this before. See if we go into the face puppeter. Uh, I simply removed all the animation from this character and now when I preview it in face puppet, press the space, uh, you can see everything is kind of working. Now obviously you could do a lot more to set this up with the sprites and how they deform and move around but if you do need multiple eyes this is just like a quick and dirty way to do it so that you can still control the face and the eyes uh, using the various panels in Cartoon Animator. You can see here if I go into the face key editor and just operate the one eye I can move those eyeballs separate. Go to this one and move those eyeballs separate. So I hope you found this demonstration useful. Obviously this isn't the only way you can give your character additional eyes. 
but with this method it's relatively easy to implement and you do get control of most of the irises and the way the eyes work through both the face puppet editor and the face key editor. Uh, obviously if you wanted independent control of all of the different eyes, uh, this technique is not the way to do it. But otherwise, I hope you found this interesting and it's something that you can build off when creating your own characters. So I'm going to leave that there and I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now. Oh, my God.